So we talk about all these things that may stop a person from winning. And somebody said, well, what about their health? Yeah, health can stop you, slow you down. Mindset, mentality definitely can slow you down. And somebody said relationships. Somebody said, said, actually, I think relationships is the number one thing that can stop a person from winning. And I was like, ooh, I think you might be right. You might be on to something. It can be family. It can be friends. But nine times out of ten, it's romantic relationships that will tear you down if you're not strong enough to deal with whatever's coming your way. I don't care if you're poor. I don't care if you're in the middle class. I don't care if you're the richest of the rich. Relationships will break you to your knees, will bring you to your knees that will make you buckle. You have to be mentally strong enough to understand that whatever another human being, another living person does to you should never be enough to ruin your life, to make you go, oh, woe is me. Why me? Why did they do that? And that's what happens to us. So many of us fail to save a piece of our hearts for ourselves. And so when the unthinkable happens, we're broken, we're battered. We don't want to get out of bed. We don't want to go to work. Worst case scenario, people take their lives because he left, because she left. I want you to understand, we're all living human beings. Nobody should base their life or their self-worth on being with another person. Why come this person don't want me? Why can't they leave me? Why would they do? Listen to me. This is the first thing I need you to understand. And remember, if you don't remember nothing I say, never, ever forget this. Never, ever be surprised at what another living human being does. We're all imperfectly perfect. We're capable of making mistakes, and I promise you, at that very moment in time, when a person makes a mistake, they stop worrying about what somebody else is thinking. They stop worrying about you, and they go for self. And when they go for self nine times out of ten, if you're the person in the way, you just get ran over like a Mack truck. You have to be able to deal with whatever relationship you're dealing with. And you have to be strong enough to face whatever may be coming down the pike. Each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of built-in problems. We can't escape that. And if you decide that you're going to fall for this person, understand that this person may hurt you. Understand that this person may betray you. Understand that this person may lie to you. I call it mental practice. And what I tell people is, NFL is, a, is, is the National Football League. And every week they, are play, they have an opponent that the team is playing. They spend countless hours game planning and preparing for any situation, any scenario that may come up so they're prepared. But we're living our lives and we're dealing with people on a daily basis and we never mentally practice. We never game plan. We never strategize. For if my boo, my baby, the love of my life, cheats on me. How am I going to deal with that? For the football team, they would practice that cheat and play. They would have a cheat and play. Okay, so if this person cheats on me, this is how we're going to counter that and we're going to be ready to, to, to not let it break us and we're going to be ready to still go score. How can you overcome when somebody betrays your trust or cheats you? You have to mentally practice. You actually have to, you have to step out of your comfort zone. Not easy. Not easy to visualize your your significant other messing around with somebody else. But I promise you, if you practice it and you, you take a moment and say, okay, let me, let me go there. I don't want to go there, but let me go there. And you practice it and you, practice it and you, you see yourself with the first reaction. Then you do it again. You see yourself with another reaction. First time, you might have just lost it and spazzed out and, and took everybody out. Second time, you might have just said, okay, cuss them out. The third time, you're like, you know what? I ain't even got time for your ignorance. If that's what you want to do, my granny told me there's always more fish in the sea, baby. 
So what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is, is that you are strong enough. You just don't know it. You have to mentally practice. You have to get your mindset right to be able to deal with whatever's going to happen in your relationship. And you know what? If something happens, do not carry that baggage into the next one. Do not. You give the next person a fresh start and enjoy the relationship. And don't worry about whatever he or she may be able to do because they are capable of doing great things and they're capable of doing dumb things. Save a piece of your heart for yourself. So just in case they do something that you don't like, that's what we call a deal breaker. You're able to wake up the next morning, shake it off, realize that, dang, that was a good one. But wasn't as good as I thought. And you can hold your head up high. And you can go to work. You can keep running your business. You can keep living your life. Because at the end of the day, you understand that you will never, ever, ever let a relationship break you.